out and about, craving a couple teens. Burgers, they're burgers. <laughs> just relax yourselves. We're at a &W, okay? Just don't, please don't do it. You know what I mean. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey, uh, can I get a teen burger combo, please? Burger combo with fries and root beer? Uh, can I just do onion rings instead of the fries? Uh huh. Uh, yeah, root beer is root beer's good. And uh, can I also get another teen burger, just the burger? Anything else? No, that'll be it. 2287. Thank you. 2287. The burger family. <laughs> Can you pull up to the Okay. <laughs> Didn't really understand a word, but I kind of know what he means. Pull up to the thing, and then they'll give you the thing, and then... That, guy's, that guy seemed like he was on Adderall. <laughs> Real shit, like working overtime in his mouthpiece, in his brain. I need to score some fucking Adderall, to be honest with you. I want to try it. I just want to try it, okay? I just want to try it one time. I've just... It's over the counter, it or well not over the counter, it's prescription? <laughs> it's prescription, it's legal. It's not cocaine per se, but. All right, yo, what up? Out and about, semi impromptu. I have been craving teen burgers for like, I wanna say a week and a half, two weeks. I've just never made it happen yet. So it's kind of on the menu today, but just, you know, impromptu a little bit, out and about, but two teens, onion rings, and uh, a nice, beautiful root beer. No ice, unfortunately. I wish they carried ice, but they don't because you're supposed to get it in a frosted mug, but this is far from a frosted mug. Okay. Fuck, that tastes good, though. Wow. Wow, that's good. All right, Teenberg 1. I got to go ahead and doctor these up with a ring or two. All right, Teenburger 1 loaded with an onion ring looking really, really amazing. It's sunny where I'm at, so the sunnies are staying on. No uh, real eye reactions today, but man, I'm hungry and I'm so ready for this. needed that I really needed that a little sloppier than usual feel as if and dubs is usually uh, really precise in their building techniques But uh, tasting 10 out of 10. I think that's my hardest thing with this whole ship is I go out and do some of these car ones where I try to try like local new places when I know in the back of my mind I just got old faithful bites like this
it's so hard not to crave familiar bangers essentially I did that recent car video <laughs> and I read through some of the comments and people are like <laughs> have never seen this man this disappointed <laughs> disappointed have never seen him <sighs> like just tear apart and experience the way he did this one and so somebody's like this man just roasted this place <laughs> you know and i was like that could have been unavoided that could have been avoided if i just went with classics favorites you know don't go chasing waterfalls stick to the lakes and the rivers that you're used to or some shit like that that destiny's child said you know that's that's sage advice Especially when it comes to food. Okay, so we're going to wipe out this lid a little bit. <laughs> and then we're going to MacGyver these four ketchup packets into the lid for ease of dipping access for the remainder of these onion rings that aren't burnt. All right, legit rings today. A&W does make a pretty solid ring when they are good. Definitely seem panko crusted. A thicker cut of a ring. And they have a nice Nice seasoning. Have no idea what the blend is. I want to say I almost detect a hint of chili powder. but there's certainly some red tinge to them. And this root beer is so a level above today. It's like, the, it's ridiculously fresh tasting. <clears throat> the one bummer, and I know it's because they are supposed to have a frosted mug and all that jazz. And they stick by no ice. So that the amazing taste of the soda doesn't get diluted or watered down. But I think in this day and age for drive through, they should at least have the option of ice. Personally, that's my personal thoughts. <clears throat> Okay, round two, ready for flawless victory on this. Speaking of which, actually, Mortal Kombat, the uh, the movie, there's a new movie coming out, uh, like a reboot in like 2021, and it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. I 
And why I'm particularly excited is because as a kid, that was one of my favorite games. But they made the movie back in 90, I want to say 90, I want to say 90, three, four, five, something, something like that. I used to watch that shit religiously. That's another, like, just 90s classic that I loved. The second one came out, Annihilation. Kind of shit. And since then... They've always just been teasing at like the attempt of making another one, but like good. And this one looks like they're finally going to honor like the heritage and like really do it right. special effects and everything look top tier just like this burr The type of movie that could almost make me go see it in a theater. But I doubt that will be an option. I don't know about you, but even before all this shit, I was like pretty over movie theaters. I like almost never went to the movies. Very rare. Because the experience at home is almost, it's just better, honestly. Like it's more comfortable. It's like on your command, stop to start. Home snacks are mad cheap. Just everything about watching movies at home is better, pretty much. That meal hit and all departments that was really really good the drink so fresh and cold and those burgers were magical they had been playing on my mind for a while and just hit that spot so hard okay rando dando this one but you know what i mean until the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true